In this video, we're going to go over the assignment statement, which is just a fancy way of assigning some type of value to a variable. The variable is normally a number, but can also be a string or occasionally a boolean. Alright, so we'll start our main method. I don't know. Sorry, I must type too much. Public static void main. Alright. Let's say we want to assign the number 10 to a. So int a equals 10. Now, I'm using an integer here. Whenever I'm using an integer, that means this cannot have a decimal. Like if I, it's not throwing an error, but if I try typing 10.5, it's throwing an error there because an integer cannot be decimal. Once I also want to define int b as 5, then I can actually multiply numbers inside the print line statement using those variables a times b. So this will print out 50, because 5 times 10 equals 50, and it references those variables. I can also use different data types. I can use a double, which is a large number. It can also have decimals. I'm not sure offhand how big it can be. Double large equals, just type in some numbers, point some other numbers. So, I'll type in the large double is plus large. Now it will print out with that large double that I typed in, this number right here. I can put a space in there to make it look neater for next time. I can also assign a string as a variable. So, I would type in S, or string with a capital S, string first name equals Joey. And I, I'm sorry, I need Joey in t to be in parentheses, or quotation marks rather. And I can also assign my last name, string last name equals So I can print out both of these on one line. Uh, you should remember some of this from the print line statement. First name Joey. I'll put go to a new line there. Last name. Put two spaces in there to make this line up a little bit better. Harbor. So if I run this, it'll print my name down here at the bottom. Alright, that's how the assignment statement works. Remember, once you assign something, that whenever you type that, it will always reference what you originally typed. Well, with one exception, and that is inside a loop that that value can change. Hope you enjoyed the video.